Okay, Nick. So let's talk about the uh, change in the unemployment rate going from March to April. What did we see in Oregon? Oregon's unemployment rate edged down to 3.7%. That's a new record low for unemployment in Oregon. Comparative records go back to 1976, and this is the lowest we've seen since then. So continued good news for Oregon's economy right now. It's great news. The uh, labor market's really tight. There aren't a lot of unemployed workers right there right now. Um, Oregon's unemployment rate is much lower than the U.S. unemployment rate, which is 4.4%. That 3.7% we're seeing in Oregon is significantly lower than the U.S. rate. Looks like very strong job gains last month as well. There were a lot of jobs added in April, um, 6,600 6, new jobs. Um, so the strong job growth is continuing this trend we've seen. Over the year, job growth rate is 2.1 percent. That's much faster than the U.S. rate of 1.6 percent. A little over 2 percent, but still a little bit of a slowdown from the just torrid pace Oregon was on for about four years there. Yeah, a few years back, we were seeing job growth rates of around 3 percent. Uh, the unemployment rate was much higher, so there are more people available to take the jobs that employers had. Right now, we know that employers have a lot of vacancies that they're looking to fill, but with the unemployment rate so low, it's just getting harder for them to fill those jobs, and that may be what's slowing down job growth right now. So where did we see the job gains last month? It looks like they were pretty widespread. They were pretty um, widespread. Um, a bunch of industries added about 1,000 jobs. Retail trade added 1,100 jobs. But manufacturing added 1,000. Professional and business services added 1,000. Financial activities added 1,000. And other services added 1,000. A lot of those are broad-ranging industries. So all across the board, we're seeing a lot of strong job growth. So when you talk about the, uh, the tight labor market, so the other side of this is it, it does look like it's a little bit of a challenge for Oregon businesses right now. Yeah, that really is where the challenge is right now. Um, employers have responded by raising wages. The real average hourly wage in Oregon has been rising and continues to increase. And um, that's what employ one of the things employers need to do in order to retain the workers that they have or to attract workers to the state or for other businesses to take those positions. When we look at this expansion now compared to other economic expansions that Oregon has had, it seems that the job growth is pretty is pretty broad based as opposed to just particular industries that would bring us out of recessions before. So in your mind, does that allow Oregon to be a little more stable, a little more sustainable as this recovery continues? It could be. Um, as opposed to the late 90s when we also saw rapid job growth and um, population gains, people moving to the state to take those jobs, um, that was concentrated a lot in the high-tech sector. That was really a, an identifiable driver of growth for Oregon. Right now, uh, we went through a period of just recovery from the recession, and now it's really broad-based growth. So we're seeing construction adding a lot of jobs, healthcare adding a lot of jobs. Um, everywhere from low-paying to mid-paying to high-wage industries are adding jobs right now. So that broad-based uh, recovery could be a sign of continued growth.